Empowered greetings friends, Jimi Hendrick here. I want to talk to you about something that is very important, okay? And I realize that this has been a tough year, okay? But I want to give a little perspective here. I hear people complaining, oh, this is the worst year ever. Come on, guys. I know it hasn't been the best year ever. But in a way, it can be. You want to know how? Let's round up 2020 by having a journey with God. See what he has to say about us having courage and success and, and the like. It's funny. I was listening to some Christian music, uh, old school Christian music from back in my day and when I was in college in the 90s. And you know what's interesting is this, is I got reflected on how to once again have a journey with God. And we can have this to, to round up 2020. Guys, this, is, this is, should be no problem at all for you to assemble together. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you four tips on how to have the best journey of God to round up the rest of 2020. Are you ready? Number one, absolutely get still before the Lord. I tell you something, that is important. You learn so much. Back in 1996, I had a dream of a bird. I was the bird. I was trying to get into three sacks to get some food. There were two sacks. There, two sacks I went into first. Each time a bird, a fellow bird, pecked me out. I went into the third sack and got a food. Uh, and got food. It took. Now back then I thought that it was it was meant that I was to marry my ex-wife after two bad relationships. But I found out what it really meant after my baptism into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. That it was my three different investigations into the church. Guys, we can do this. We can be on top of our game. Okay, number two, be close to the words of the prophet. Okay? For, for many Christians, that's anciently. But also in my tradition, it's anciently and modern, modernly. God is in them. You can, you can see that, okay? It's very important that you grasp it. Number four. Number, number three, Christ. Apply his atonement to your everyday life. Now I ask myself, how do you apply his atonement in everyday life? Well, here's, here's a simple rule. Live the gospel, you know. Exercise the particle of faith. Trust that he will give, if you pray to him, he will give you the strength to live righteously, okay? That is so important. Number four. Develop a Christian growth mindset that you're going to grow in grace according to the dictates of the Lord. I say this very clearly and I hope that this really helps you beyond compare. Take care and God bless you.